I said, I understand the draw. I said, I get it. Even though I have three winning by a round or two. But if you got two knockdowns, that's four out of the six rounds if you're talking about a draw. So you can easily have a swing round either way, and it could be a draw. I get it. I just didn't have a draw. Do you think, do you think Wilder's misconstruing maybe that, that you're on the other side now? You're, it's, it's your job to call the fight like you see it, and, and he's, he's taking it the wrong way when he, when he thinks you're trying to take away from his performance? I mean, first and foremost, I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Before a broadcaster, before anything else. And I'm going to speak my mind. Period. No matter who you are. But if you know me, you know that I've always been pro fighter. I've never been anti fighter. I've never hated. Check my track record. It's not in me to do. I You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. What's up, fight fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, aka Mr. Two Hands Up. Five, five. You already know what it is. Yeah. Alright, man. So Eddie Hearn takes to Twitter uh, via Michael Benson and he says his fans. We should be calling for Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. Imagine the build-up. Imagine the fight. It does well over a million pay-per-view buys. Sells out of stadium. That is the fight. And the winner of the fight gets the winner of Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. And I, for one, happen to agree with Eddie Hearn. Not saying that it might do a million plus, but if I'm basing it off of Anthony Joshua versus Fat Boy, you will respect my authority. Yeah. Over two million pay-per-view buys in the UK. You can't tell me that if Anthony Joshua, I mean, excuse me, if Tyson Fury versus Dillian White were to meet up in the UK in a stadium, it wouldn't sell out and it wouldn't do a million pay-per-view buys. But anyway, let me continue. Andre SOG Ward, he quotes this tweet and then he says, Eddie, stop it. Hmm. Why the hate, Dre? Are you realistically looking at what Eddie Hearn is saying in the tweet? Have you paid attention to the landscape of the UK market? Do you pay attention to how the UK fans really support their fighters? And American fans don't support theirs. Considering that you had a record-breaking gate for Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2, do you believe that was based off the American audience? Or do you think that was a bunch of traveling Brits? I'm sure you won't even be willing to answer that question, Dre, but let me answer it for you. It was a bunch of traveling Brits. Their cheers drowned out any three or four fans that were there to support Deontay Wilder. A few moments later. Well, shape. And now the chance of you big uh, Dawson, that is a term that Tyson Fury has thrown towards Deontay Wilder's way. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Because we know the fans of American boxing do not support Deontay Wilder with their pockets. They support him with their ludicrous <laughs> lies and all of their fabricated stories that they put all over YouTube. Just in the kind of way that you kind of fabricated what was going on in the ring and Wilder versus Fury 3. But hey, oh, he needs who am some I to milk. Judge? So for Dre to sit up there and say, Eddie, stop it, and to not even add any type of clarity on why he's saying that, also, you would have to say that it's just hate. I would have to say that it's hate. I mean, I can't see it any other way. You know that I've always been pro fighter. I've never been anti-fighter. I've never hated. Check my track record. It's not in me to do. I love so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. But to be perfectly honest, the UK boxing, the UK boxers and the heavyweight division are truly running the show. And the Ukrainian boxers, you tell me one American heavyweight boxer who is moving the needle right now. As a matter of fact, we all know that it's a fact since probably about 2017 that, you know, no American box, no American heavyweight boxer has been able to move the needle. And you guys have had to do business with UK boxers if you guys have wanted successful paydays on the American side of the ball. And when I say you guys, of course, I'm, I'm American too, so I'm speaking of me as well. But the difference between me and Mr. SOG right here, I'm not deluded. And maybe Andre Ward can't see why this fight would do a million pay-per-view buys because Andre Ward has never been able to do a million pay-per-view buys himself. I believe his highest payday was for, like, Kovalev 2 of, like, $6.5 million. Yeah. I mean, I guess that Jordan sponsorship must have been really taking care of him. But either way, 
It sounds like a bunch of hate to me. And that's all I can see it as. This is a public service announcement. We will respect my authority. Oh, fight fans, shit. I've been doing the age of spin for possibly pro like six months to a year now. And within that six months to a year, I would say if it was a year, going back to February 22nd, I predicted the Wilder loss, and I definitely predicted the Wilder loss for this fight. Basically what I'm saying is Deontay Wilder has never moved the needle. He has never moved ticket sales. He has never been able to do anything of the above. So if you're going to challenge, you know, Eddie Hearn on the statements, then you need to come with a rebuttal that makes some type of sense. Bro. You need to have some type of logic behind what you're saying instead of sounding like, a, you know what I'm saying, a high school school girl going to the going to the Twitter atmosphere and sitting up there, excuse me, the Twitter sphere, Twitter sphere and sitting up there and just saying, Eddie, stop it. This is a public service announcement. Duce must interject on this PSA because I know I said he's acting like a high school girl on the Twitter sphere, but those are college images of USC girls. So don't get it fucked up like two hands will pull up some pictures of some high school girls. No, sir. Anyway, back to the video. Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. He's got it. He's got it. Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. Come on. Gay. There was no substance behind that tweet. But there is substance behind what Eddie Hearn is saying and considering a guy who constantly tries to make the biggest fights when America always tries to shy away from the biggest fights, considering that a lot of the American boxers won't even engage in the type of town, won't engage and fight the type of town that Dillian White and Anthony Joshua was facing. I mean, what the hell is freaking Andre Ward talking about? Have you ever been to a Dillian White fight? Have you ever paid attention to Dillian White's fight? Have you ever paid attention how he sells out the O2 and any other arena that he's in? And believe it or not, the Body Snatcher has an amazing following. Tyson Fury's stock just got in increased in the American soil, so more American fans are gonna pay attention to him. So you put those two heavyweights together and it's gonna be a clash and it's gonna be top billing and they can definitely do a million pay-per-views in a buy. A million pay-per-view buy in the UK. I can't stand Cap and I can't stand, you know what I'm saying, tweets that lack substance and I can't stand when people are just hating without even looking at the numbers and looking at the facts. I guess if you look at the current traditions of American boxing and if you look at the current sales of American boxing, I could see why you couldn't see something like that. But hey, over in the UK, real fans buy real fights. Unlike what the American market has been producing. So, I mean, once again, Dre, I think you should really think before you tweet. Because it just sounds like a bunch of hate for real, for real. And it just seems like some, once again, some high school schoolgirl shit. I really don't have much to say other than that because I pretty much said all that needed to be said. So, as we always say at the end of this shit, you will respect my authority. It costs you nothing to play a hating nigga no mind. Respect, though. It's the motherfucking balls.